Hey guys, Josh here from GBU. Today we're going to give you guys a quick overview on the difference between two different barrels, uh, one of them being a stainless steel barrel and one of them being an alloy barrel. For you people out there that do a lot of mods, the first modification you'll do on any uh, blast as such would have been your alloy barrel uh, upgrade from the plastic. Now the reason why this is an upgrade because the in, inner diameter of the barrel are different diameters obviously which then puts more compression on the jaw ball as it exits. So today we're just going to talk about two different styles of barrel and why one is more efficient, why one can generate more FPS and how the FPS can be raised just by the tight boring in the inner diameter. So first off we have an alloy barrel here, a black alloy barrel which is probably the most generic barrel on the market. Why alloy is good is because of the inner diameter right there. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to measure the inner diameter of this alloy barrel. Uh, as you can see, this barrel inner diameter is 7.4546, so pretty much a 7.5 mil barrel, which are pretty generic um, with the alloy upgrade, where your plastic barrel are sitting a bit wider than that. So obviously with more of a tight bore, you're going to get more FPS because as the gel ball shoots out, it does have more compression. So the gel ball compression, meaning that the gel ball is in there and there's no air leaks going above or around the gel ball. So it's 100% compressed. So when it comes out, it's coming out at maximum feet per second. So that's your alloy barrel, great upgrade. But then for a lot of you pro players and a lot of people that want to go to the next level, you have your stainless steel barrel. Now, there's a few different things that make the stainless steel barrel more superior to the alloy. Now, first of all, stainless steel is much heavier. So the weight takes away a lot of the vibration. So when you're shooting in a gel blaster, the alloy is still a light material. So when you're shooting, the barrel does vibrate slowly. So it does lose a lot of accuracy as well, where with the stainless steel barrel, it is significantly heavier. So when you're shooting at a full auto rate, especially with high rate of fire builds, you're not going to have as much or close to no vibration at all, which gives you a nice stable barrel to increase your accuracy much more. And again, that's why alloy is better than the plastic because the plastic does vibrate a lot and it does tend to warp in the heat. The alloy is a tighter bore, doesn't vibrate as much, but then you go to the stainless steel, which is very, very heavy and it does increase your accuracy. Now with this stainless steel in particular, this is our GBU custom barrel that we have just received the prototypes. We're going to be putting them in the next couple of customs we do. So if we look at the boring of this one, now just don't forget that on the alloy barrel is 7.46, which is pretty much 7.45. And we've just reset this one. So the boring of this one, if you can see there, is 7.15. Now we find that to be a sweet spot, especially now that the gels are getting a little bit smaller and much more heavier. So this gives you the optimum compression rate as the gel ball flies out and will give you a lot more accuracy. If you do go to upgrade your barrel, just say you have a a blaster that you've just purchased, just be aware that the barrel nine times out of 10 will be glued into the T-piece. Now the T-piece is this section here. So the barrel will be glued in. So you may have to purchase another T-piece to put directly onto your new uh, barrel as such. Um, a lot of people, they don't wanna do that. So you can put hot water and just twist it until the glue separates from the barrel. If you don't wanna go through that, a T-piece is five bucks, so it's not gonna send you broke. And when you're changing the, the new T-piece and gluing it on, what we suggest is we use an epoxy, like a Gorilla glue. Put a little bit on this groove here. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a bit of a groove that's been machined in. Put glue around that and then take your T-piece and slightly just turn it as it goes in so the glue really seals up inside and then there's going to be no air leaks inside your barrel. That's how you can ensure that your barrel's in there nice and tight, no air leaks, maximum FPS. So pretty much in conclusion guys, when you do go to purchase a barrel, depending on what you want, there's nothing wrong with a 7.5, yet there is tighter, which is a 7.15. So it is significantly smaller, yet you will get a lot more FPS. It can increase the FPS for up to 15, 20% just from the barrel. So if you're looking to upgrade your blaster, this is the quickest way to do it, to up your FPS without even touching the internals of your gearbox. And it won't void your warranty as well because your barrel is pretty much an external piece of the gearbox. I hope you guys uh, have a bit more knowledge on barrels and a bit more insight on how to upgrade your next gel blaster. That's it for me. Have a great day.